I'm sorry, no, I, I didn't feel comfortable taking your money. Why? You feel comfortable taking my daughter? Although I, I do believe that Christine is not all you want. Man, I gotta remember to thank the boss. I made up better here than I would have at the poker game. Did somebody say something about making out? Wait, sir, I, I don't know what you mean. I thought we just came here okay, to discuss... Okay, so then we just go ahead and do what, 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 you know, we came here to do. You don't want my money? You might want to ante up with it. I should put some clothes on. Oh, no, 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 no. Clothes on you would be a crime. Tell me, Milo, what do you do to develop that little space between your abs and your upper thighs? I don't think the boss would appreciate this, Mrs. Corinthos. Oh, 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 no, 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 my love. I am not Mrs. Corinthos yet. Recognize it? JMS. Stands for Joseph Mitchell Scully. Your daddy. Kate, you in here? It's time for cake. <gasps> Louise Falconeri, what in the hell are you doing? You're Joe's son. So, so you know. You're not even gonna deny it? Look, I'm, I'm done playing the part uh -huh. for you, okay? Yes, I am Joseph Mitchell. Golly, the third. This is how this is gonna go down. You're gonna do as you're told. And I'm gonna save you as much hardship as possible for Christina's sake. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna get divorced. No, not first, not second, not ever. What the hell, Kate? What the hell, what? What's with you and you clutch all the stripper boy over here? Uh, what the hell, what? What, what? You're marrying Sonny tomorrow. I'm aware of that. What's up? What the hell are you doing shoving your tongue down this mook's throat? No, no, this isn't what you think. Milo, it's... calm down. Uh, yeah, Milo, calm down. Get your clothes, get in your car, and don't stop driving. I gotta leave town? Oh, you're right, I gotta leave town. Yeah, yeah, when Sonny finds out that you had your paws all over his uh, fiance, he's gonna turn him into hooks. It's gonna be a little harder getting stripping gigs when you can't operate a button fly. No, no please don't tell the boss. You don't understand. I didn't do anything. Liv, he did nothing wrong. Nothing, nothing, really. I'm sorry. What the hell? How could you do that to Sonny? What to Sonny? Are you, you were all over the guy, kissing him, hanging on. I did. It was like in a date. I was not doing that. I just saw you. How could you say something so... <gasps> oh, no. Olivia. What you just happened? That was another hallucination. I thought we were finished playing games. We are. Well, then we better deal with this problem before it gets worse. Like you but... dealt with my father? Framing him for a murder he didn't commit, stealing his inheritance? I'm not surprised he fed you a bunch of lies, and I would school you right now, but I really don't give a damn. As long as you stay away from my daughter, we're fine. You know, you can threaten me all you want, but I'm not leaving Christina. I care about her. You care about her? Really? Did you care about her when you talked her into this reality show, when you tricked her into marrying you? Just admit, Trey. You're using her I'll to get me. I'll never do anything to hurt her, would, I swear. Yeah, would your father say the same thing? That was no hallucination. No, I'm sure it was, honey. Tell me what you saw. I, I, you, I saw you hanging all over Milo like some kind of lovesick octopus. Oh, no. I yeah. was just calming him, Olivia. He was terrified that Sonny wouldn't appreciate him moonlighting as a stripper at my bachelorette party. And you know what? He has a point. Okay, that does not change the fact that he had your lipstick all over his face. Olivia, I would never kiss Milo. As tempting as it was after his tour de force tonight. No, I know what I saw. <laughs> Didn't you say that the doctors are still trying to find a drug to combat your episodes? Yeah. Yeah, but... It, but it, it, they looked so real. I, Honey, they always look real, right? Like when you saw the devil in Ewan's face and when you thought it was raining on top of the hospital roof. Come here. I love Sonny. I would never do anything to hurt him. 
A Connie Wood? And that's definitely who you saw. So what's his plan, Trey? I don't know about any plan. No? Is that just the stance you're taking? Or did Joe Jr. cut you out of the loop, huh? I told my father to lay back. Yeah, that's because very I didn't protected, want her to very shivers, but then you lied into my daughter's life. You prey on her feelings. Get over there. And her innocence. I didn't prey on Christina. You trick her into marrying you without revealing who you really are, who your father is, who he is to me, no, no, no. to Kate. You have no clue what you're talking Shut about. Shut up. Your father's got you in way over your head. Do you have any idea what I can do to you? You say you care for Christina. This is your last chance. You need to tell me where Joe Jr. is. <laughs> you gotta tell me where Joe Jr. is. Tell me. I see you can get rid of him. Huh? The way you get rid of everybody else that stands in your way? Like that woman in, in Atlantic City? What? Uh, John McBain's sister? The, the murder you tried to pin on my father? You mean the murder your father committed? Is that what you're Yo, saying? Forget about it, Sonny. I'm not going against my father, and I'm not going to let you go against him anymore either. What makes you think you have a prayer of stopping me? At least you're not going to be able to protect your father, Trey, and I'll do whatever I have to do to protect my children. My father won't hurt Christina. He just... Oh, but, wants... but Michael and Morgan are fair game? So are you. Sorry, it's me. I need to talk. Not now. Not now. May I have my medal back, please? Your, your Joe Jr. can come get it. No, that's not his. It's mine. We both have the same one. Kate tore that one off of me the other day. What do you mean you tore off of you? You were manhandler. I was there. Is that what she said? What does that mean? Everything okay in here? I'm out of here. We're not done. I am. Yeah? Party's over. Hey, Maxie. Oh. Forgot. <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you about the party you mm -hmm. threw. Got off to a real bumpy start, Maxie. But you managed to save it somehow. So the job at Crimson is yours. Congratulations. Yeah, so well. I thought I saw Connie. But I was wrong. Hey. Olivia, you ready to go? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's get out of here. Bye, girls. you mind terribly if I stayed around for a while and just took it all in? Sure. <laughs> sure, you know what? I got a spare key right here, so oh. just lock up when you leave, okay? Thank you, Mac. Okay. Congratulations. Well, oh, thanks. Now you two scram. <laughs> Well, hey there, sexy pants. <laughs> wow, I love what you've done with the place. Not bad. 
not bad at all. Please, Connie, I'm begging you one last time. Don't make me do this. Oh, I'm so sorry, Johnny. But it's time to take your medicine. 